You always do. Sorry. Anyway, Mr. Kinlaw's history of AWA class is so tough. I know! And Mr. Shively's pop quiz would have been so hard if we didn't get the heads up. Thanks, Stu. We really owe you. Nah, Thanks. don't worry about it, guys. I mean, no one likes a pop quiz, right? No, no. I'm tired of them. I do accept gifts, though. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm serious. I, I do accept gifts. <laughs> Let me get to my okay? The honorary Duke Hudson of Chase U fame. We actually have a proposition. There is a poker game tonight, and we could really use a ringer to, you know, clean up. You fancy a big boy? Mm. Sorry, boys, I think I'd rather stay here with my fellow classmates. Yep, yep. Can I'm you? sorry. Are you hearing yourself? We were joking about the poker game, and yet you didn't even react. Well, it doesn't matter if you're serious or not. Gambling is against university policy, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it is. Right. Yes, Look, it is. when are you going to take off the disgusting uniform and go back to be in the Duke Hudson we know you are. And he wasn't great, but at least he tried to look cool while he was doing it. Nowadays, you're just a stooge. Oh, 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 Black and red. The following contest is scheduled for one ball. Representing Diamond Mine, Ivy Nile. Uh, but we got to focus on the Break here and the now. Break it down. And we're pony already in the ring, Kiana James. I have to disagree with James. Ivy Nile is very different than any other woman she's come across in a boardroom. You, you, you gotta understand that Vic is it's, it's many, many different boardroom groups. When you're talking about being a uh, board, being, be, be having a bar, dealing with you know uh, a rowdy crowd, that's one thing. But when you're dealing with the the rules on Wall Street, like Kiana James, that's a different type of beast, man. You got to know what you're doing. I'd rather face a wolf on Wall Street than Ivy Nile any day of the week. Ah. Uh. This, a, this, no doubt, though, is a big match for both these women as we inch closer to NXT deadline two weeks from Saturday. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was watching Ivy now versus Lash Legend, and what a move she put on Lash to get to that lock. I'm going to tell you right now, Kiana Jane, she better be very, very crafty in this situation. You're talking about going back and doing some film study. What part of Ivy Nile's game stands out the most to a two-time WWE Hall of Famer like yourself. Ivy Niles, of course, she's going to rely on her Taekwondo, her technical skills, Ooh, wrestling background. That's Nelson. what's very dangerous about her more than anything. Look like that right there. Beautiful. Move. Up, over, shoulders down, near fall. And James looked like she was looking to a uh, Inflict some damage with a full no, no, Nelson. No, no, no. I don't necessarily know if you want to try to match submission for submission exactly. with someone like Ivy Nile. Exactly my point. Like I say, Ivy's going to rely on what she does best, Vic. And that's right there is putting you on the back. Oh, wow. Stretching you out, but that's called an old fashioned cold line. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, you know, for Kiana James, she comes to corporate takeover. She doesn't need the money, it's just a hobby for Kiana James. And James now looking to apply more pressure. Small of the back right now on Nile. Nile trying to do her best to fight her way free. And Nile trying to break the grip. And James! Wow. Wow. Inverted backbreaker. Tell you something. Kiana James. Maxley is she's nervous. Like, she's like an architect, man. She knows how to build as well as cover. Oh, Another she kick out. Supervise at the same time. You see Maxley on the outside. A look of concern on her face is James. She's taking it to Nile right now, and do you get the sense of James being a little salty? She didn't get the deal done with Fallon Henley after a conversation moments ago with McKenzie Mitchell. Let me tell you something, man. When you think you got the deal already done, you got the, the plan Ooh. already thrown up, you got the, the high-end condominiums on Cover the off the back, break the hook of the leg. Got you got the law so much. You're thinking about putting the Starbucks in. You get hot, man. You want that deal, and you want it done now. Another submission being applied by James. Oh, wow, Maybe she that. shouldn't counter chickens for the hatch. Maybe she shouldn't be thinking about the luxury that's suites that's and the Starbucks into the cover of her leg. Another kick that, out. That's what deal makers do. When you're a boss, man, you're thinking about getting the work done. You got your hard hat on. That's the only thing you're thinking about. That's Keanu James. You know, this cup in the season, I would say that. Is James now trying to lock another submission. You can hear Nile screaming in pain oh, in this moment. Yes. And we haven't seen Nile in this sort of position in her short career. 
career here at NXT, but a nice counter. Another part of Niles' game that has grown, what she's learned in the Diamond Dojo. But James turning it right around, oh, belly wow. to back. Into another cover. Will this be enough? And Nile continuing to fight in this matchup. But give credit when credit is due to Kiana James. Take another look. Look at the back bend. Beautiful. Beautiful move right there by Kiana James. And I'm going to tell you, Kiana better watch out. But right now, she's in a bad, bad, bad oh, position. Look this, at this submission. This could be ugly. Nile locking in another submission. Diamond Mine, of course, still regrouping. Good to see that they're getting back after oh. the dojo, trying to hyperextend the left elbow is Nile. James right back in, gets caught from behind, shoulders down, near fall. Nile almost able to stack up James in that moment. Nice combination offense. What a oh. kick. What a combination, Vic. Up over and another takedown by Nile, who is starting to get that second, maybe that third win in this matchup. Paxley on the outside, cheering Nile along. Oh, Ooh, right now, gut wrench. Nile's right now keeping James real close to the body. That's the one thing I thought oh. the James would have a huge, huge problem with here tonight with Nile. What a strike. Oh, and wait a minute. Bell and Henley on oh, these two. Long history with one another. James back of the ring gets caught. And Nile now. We're going to lock in the submission. Snap, crackle, pop, and attack. Precision technician right there. You got to love it. You got to love it, Vic. And look at Henley. <laughs> these two have been arguing about a bar. You even brought up the bar earlier. It's a bar fight right here in front of us. Look, man, it's about getting your piece of the action, your champagne wishes, your caviar dream. <laughs> That's what this is all about, Vic. Oh, the Creed brothers now. Ivy Nile continues to prove that she's the most dangerous woman in NXT. She's underappreciated. But you still don't see her running around jumping people like in Sheer. These guys think they're going to make their name on the backs of the Cree brothers. I don't think so. We've been bodying dudes that are bigger and stronger than us our entire lives. Ask Nick Wisdowski, two-time world medalist, beast. He got frequent flyer miles whenever he wanted. Ask Sam Stoll. Hey, the point he's trying to make is this. Intimidation, it doesn't affect us. Right, we work right. too damn hard to be worried and fear anything with a heartbeat. In the sheer, you walk around here <laughs> wanting respect after you attacked us? That's the last thing you're gonna get! Veer, Sangha, you guys might have the admiration of all of India, but when it comes time to set foot in this ring, it's just you and us. NXT deadline, in the sheer, Creed Brothers, you guys want respect? Come try to get it. Interesting comments made by the Creed Brothers, and you can see, Book, Ivy now does not agree, does not like what the Creed...